Hi, if you happen to have recorded a video with multi-channel audio and you want to use the file and all audio channels in Movie Edit Pro Plus or Premium or Magic's Movie Studio Platinum or Suite 2023, you'll have to do a bit of work. Only one channel will show up at a time, but we can fix that. In this tutorial, we'll take a look at a few ways to get all audio channels. Under Program Settings, Video Audio tab, the box beside Video Audio on Track 1 is checked. Load the multi-channel video file onto Track 1. Audio Track 1 will be there by default. You can check this by right-clicking on the object, switch Current Audio Track, and a check mark will show beside Audio Track 1. Use the shortcut Shift-D to do an audio mixdown. Explorer opens and a file name is proposed. This is the project name, so you want to change it. Select the folder where you want the WAV files and temporary files to be and change the name to whatever the source clip was and append something, like Audio 1, before the extension so that you know which channel you're using. A WAV file will be created and put on track 2. Right-click the video object, Audio Functions, Restore Original Sound, right-click again, and switch Current Audio Track to the other one. If you also want the WAV file for the other audio track, isolate the video object by pressing on the S or Solo button in the track header and mix that down with Shift D. You now have WAV files for both channels. Finally, select the objects and group them. You can use shortcut G and turn off Solo in the track header. Let's do that again but this time with video and audio on separate tracks. It's basically the same thing. Under Program Settings, Video Audio tab, uncheck the box beside Video Audio on one track. Load the video file onto Track 1. Audio Track 1 will be there by default on Track 2. I'll check this by right-clicking on the object, switch Current Audio Track, and a check mark is showing beside Audio Track 1. Use the shortcut Shift-D to do an audio mixdown. Select the folder where you want the WAV file and temporary files to be and change the name to whatever the source clip was and append something like Audio 1 before the extension. A WAV file will be created and put on track 2. Right click the video object, Audio Functions, Restore Original Sound and it will show up on track 2, moving the WAV file to track 3. Right click the audio part on track 2 and switch Current Audio Track to the other one, Audio 2. You will now have both channels visible and playing. If you want the WAV file for the other audio track, isolate the audio object by pressing on the S or Solo button in the track header of Track 2, and mix that down with Shift D. This will put the Audio 2 WAV file on Track 4. Remove Solo from Track 2. Move the two objects back up to Tracks 2 and 3. Select all objects and group them with shortcut G. Let's do case 2 again, but with other objects on the timeline. We'll need to isolate the object to be mixed down. Under Program Settings, Video Audio tab, uncheck the box beside Video Audio on one track. I'll do this because it's more clear when you see all audio on separate tracks. I've added a video file onto track 1 and an overlay video file reduced in size onto track 4 below the first file. You can see the picture-in-picture -picture effect. Each video file has audio with it on tracks 2 and 5. Load the multi-channel video file onto track 1. Audio track 1 will be on track 2. I'll check this by right-clicking on the audio object, switch current audio track, and a check mark is showing beside audio track 1. I'll move the video clip on track 4 to be below this file. This clip has some audio, so the audio on both tracks 2 and 5 will play, but I only want to mix down the audio channel on track 2. Go to the start of the object and press I to set the beginning or end point of the range. Go to the end of the object and press O to set the out point of the range. This will limit the mix down to just the range. Solo track 2 by clicking on the S in the track header. 
the part to be mixed down is now isolated by the range and by the track. Use the shortcut Shift D to do the audio mix down of the isolated object. In the dialog box, select Range and Continue. Select the folder where you want the WAV files and temporary files to be and change the name to whatever the source clip was and append something like Audio 1 before the extension and save. A WAV file will be created and put on track 6. This WAV file is the audio of channel 1. I'll drag this WAV file up to track 2. Right click the video object, Audio Functions, Restore Original Sound, and the audio shows up on track 2. Right click on that audio and switch current audio track to the other one, Audio 2. Use the shortcut Shift E to get the waveform. Turn off Solo in the track header and you will now have both channels of the video clip playing, plus the audio of the clip on track 5. As before, if you want to have the WAV file of the second audio track, then use the same process to isolate the video clip and do a mix down. You'll get the WAV file for the second channel on a separate track. The rest you should be able to figure out. Just don't forget to select the three objects, that is the video clip on track 1, and the audio on tracks 2 and 3, and group them. Note that the audio for the first video clip moved down to another track. You can ungroup it, move it back up to track 2, and then group it with its video if you want. That's it! You should now be able to separate out the audio of a multi-channel video clip onto separate tracks. Thank you for watching. Till next time, enjoy.